Welcome to Ascension at Prayer with Pastor Stephen Newberg and Minister of Music Mark Johansson. Morning, Mark. How are you, Steve? I am well. Good. Yourself? I'm doing well. Thanks. Good. It's good to be here. I'd like to welcome you all to Ascension at Prayer, uh, where we take a look at the hymns for this coming Sunday, which would be the sixth Sunday. You got it. In Easter. Dang. Yeah. That went fast. Time flies. Yeah, it'll be uh, Pentecost here just before about, we know it. Just about. Yeah. But we still have Ascension Sunday coming up. We do, right. Which, this is Ascension. I'm really excited Darn for that. Right. Like, I've got plans. <laughs> We're going to do Ascension of our Lord up. It'll be good. <laughs> so, hymn of the day this week, LSB 556, Dear Christians, One and All, Rejoice. This has got to be, like, the most comprehensive hymn I think I've ever read. So, first of all, there's ten verses. And but, it's a Luther hymn. Yes, it is. It's a Luther hymn. So it has to be more than, you know, <laughs> three verses. It's got to be it's got to be long, right? No, no. He's a comprehensive kind of guy. Yeah, sure. But but in all seriousness, it it really goes through um a vast timeline, I guess, chronologically of of what exactly Christians believe and and the the first verse does a really good job of of setting our minds at ease. Don't worry, even though you're about to sing 10 verses, you should rejoice with exultation springing. Um, proclaim the wonders God has done. This, there's so much good about what you're about to sing. And so in the first, uh, or I'm sorry, in the second and third and fourth verses, we look at why Jesus came. We are in our wretched state. Yeah. Uh, my own good works all came to naught. So we can't, we can't justify ourselves by what we do. Therefore, God has to send his beloved son. And so then later in the fifth through the tenth verse it's kind of a response of what god has done for us yeah um and i like that because i i I like how it ties into the gospel lesson for this sunday which is jesus saying if you love me keep my commandments and i will send you the comforter the holy spirit to be with you and in in the latter verses nine and ten where it talks about ascension hey just in time for ascension Mm -hmm. It, it says, and, and heavenly wisdom to impart the Holy Spirit sending. In trouble he will comfort you and teach you always to be true and into truth shall guide you. Mm-hmm. So it's, it, it's more than just now Jesus dying on the cross, raising from the dead. He's with us. But then now what? You know, he's yeah. going to ascend. And okay, well, you know, the, they're all looking around kind of going, now what are we supposed to do? Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. There's the answer. Receive the Holy Spirit. Right. And, and so... Right now, at the culmination of the whole church year, we've been through the whole life of Christ, mm-hmm. we have this hymn to sing, which is, is exactly that. It, it tells the whole story from beginning to end. Right. The story of our salvation, and it's, um, it's only Luther, I mean, I, I guess all good Lutheran hymnody does this. He personalizes it, right? It does. And it's this law gospel thing where yep. it's about our sin. and then Very much. That's beautiful. Very much so, yeah. You know, and what you said earlier, too, 10 verses seems like a lot. Right. And sometimes you look at a hymn like this, and you're like, oh, I'm going to spend how much time singing this thing? And, but like, is there anything better in life than singing? I mean, at least you do it while you're sitting, too. Well, you get to sit. Gonna... So, everyone's so anxious to get back to work or get right. back to a TV right. match or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Put your um, phone down and sing the hymn. What yeah. a gift this is to be able to do this together. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. And, you know, again, tying into the lectionary, look at the psalm for this Sunday. It's... Praise the Lord, you know, all that is in within me. It, just, you know, you sing sing the hymn and enjoy it together. It, maybe singing's not your thing, so enjoy the music then. But let's take that time to really appreciate, yeah, like what you said, law and gospel. This is much more than just a song that sounds good or a song that makes us feel good, you know, on a, on a shallow kind of a level. This is much deeper than that. Yeah. And it's wonderful. It brings together the physical and the spiritual when we get to sing something like this. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Looking forward to it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get the video of this hymn and also all the other things going on around the church.